Super Cool Podcast. Weekly MMA podcast where we talk about all the upcoming fights, all the fights that just happened, rumors, news. Uh, yeah, everything that has to do with the world of mixed martial arts, we talk about it. And uh, we are here for, what episode is this? Have you, have you, have you, 470. I'm just wondering. Like, I, I haven't heard it in the last couple times. So yeah, it's just, 470. I feel like I'm losing. I don't think so. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I put the numbers on there, and uh, Kowal from he my MMA out? News. No, he's just like, he's like, what are these fucking numbers? What do they mean? What is the numbers? <laughs> We do have episode numbers. We've been doing no, this No, I a took while. him off because he for was while. like being a huge dick about I it. I just like to know what the what I know. At. I, anyway, I know. Uh, we got some big news coming up. We got Nick's back <laughs> in the studio right here. <laughs> MMA Pixels. Uh, we're talking about uh, 209 Beatdown. Yeah, 209 Beatdown 6 going on tomorrow here in uh, Modesto. Modesto. Downtown, yeah. Center Plaza, right? Yeah, the Center Plaza. The, the, the fountains that don't have any water in them anymore? Yeah. Yeah, down yeah. there. Okay. Big got old it. stairs. <laughs> And uh, moving on to the news to start off the show, other Nick is back. Nick, Sir! Nick Diaz is going to be ending his four-year absence with the UFC allegedly in it, March. Okay, now this conversation was going around at my shop this week. Is he the Diaz? Yeah, if you ask Nate, that's what he say. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. would say. Oh, even Nate says that. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Why do I always got to lose? I mean, I would say now, obviously, Nate is a little more well-known than his brother Nick, especially with his fighting more recently. No, Nate's and, just richer. And right? has gone a little bit further. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I think than Nick in, in overall terms, but Nick is what got it started. Nick has been in the UFC and in MMA for a long time, which got his brother into MMA, yeah. got his brother into jiu-jitsu, got his brother to become vegan, got him doing triathlons. Well, Nick was the Strike Force champion. He was. He did win the championship. He did win the championship. It's very true, so he does have that over him. Uh... Anyway, he is supposed to be fighting uh, George Mazdaval at welterweight at UFC 235 in Las Vegas in March. From the backyard to the cage. Do you think this fight. fight is actually going to happen? Like I said, uh, until he gets on a, f a poster. And like you said, even once he's on a poster, <laughs> it's still not permanent. I, I think once it gets signed, then yeah, it'll, yeah, okay. it'll be on. But right now, it's still kind of speculative. Yeah, they said the deals are not signed, but they have they have both verbally agreed. Wolf to tickets, the, my friend. To the bout. Wolf tickets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how how excited are you for this fight? If this fight happens, it's a good fight. Like, I, really I like, like it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that nipple. Just instantly. Bing! Yeah. <laughs> it's ready to go. This and I love it because Mazdaval has respect for the Diaz brothers, and he even says that he'd fight either one of them. Um, and that he really likes the fact that they're just they're fighters. They're not right. they're not there to take him down. They're not there to just grind him out. They're actually going to want to stand up and fight with him and put on a good show. And I think this is a great fight. Uh, yeah. Even with his his absence, I still give Nick a decent chance. Yeah, yeah. I I would favor Nick, but I'm probably biased. A little biased from, yeah. from the two hundred nine. <laughs> I'm just worried about the ring rust. Uh, yeah. No, nah, he's done that before. Took time off, but then again, he hasn't won in like four years either. Two thousand eleven. It's been tough competition. He comes back to this is probably he has had fights since 2011. Just hasn't fight. won since 2011. He lost to uh, well, GSP. Tech, GSP, and then he lost to Anderson, Anderson Silva. Silva. Those are his two back-to-back -back losses. Yeah. Do you think now that there's uh, more money on the line in the sport, it'd be more of a a fire under him? Uh, I know he was looking to buy a house somewhere in LA, but there, there's fires there, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> fires everywhere, man. Yeah, it is. It's crazy <laughs> out here. Oh, yeah. Barely see driving in, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Beijing, bro. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. Uh, further news from Ryzen and Mr. Floyd Mayweather. Or is it Risen? Or is it Risen? <laughs> As Floyd would say. As Floyd would say. Uh, first of all, Ryzen put up a mini press blur apologizing for their press conference, saying that um, they have to apologize for the confusion, that... They were discussing the implementation based on agreement between them. It's like an asshole voice in my head. It's just like, oh, so sorry. <laughs> uh, I hope they have a clear announcement next week. We, you know, we were trying to clear this with the release that it was just the details weren't worked out. And then Floyd turns around and says, well, yeah, it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be a co-promotion between R Mayweather Promotions and Ryzen. Uh, but it's only going to be a boxing exhibition. It's going to be uh, anywhere between... What is it? Is it nine minutes total? Yeah, three yeah. three minute rounds. Yeah. Three three minute rounds, and there's gonna be no kicking ever. No kicking's allowed. Doesn't say nothing about elbows. No kicking's allowed. It's just gonna be it's boxing. Forearms. No, it's gonna be boxing. It's, it's boxing. He's exhibition. saying boxing exhibition, and it's gonna be the highest paid exhibition ever because of course it is, Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> well, duh. So he says they try to ask him you know, how much, but he just he won't say. Yeah. Stepped around and do you, just the most do you ever. think that it was more the plane ride home and he's realizing who the fuck did I just sign up to fight with a rule set that's not yet set, or was it? 
And I really didn't get the money that I wanted on the flight home when he decided to go on social media and tell everybody no. I think it was, uh, like we said, Yokozuna met him at the airport and was like, hey, your deal was a deal. <laughs> I don't know how you do it on this side of town, but... Uh, you signed. You signed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but Floyd will just throw his name out there for anything. So. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's definitely just... Anytime anything comes up, he's like, oh, yeah, it's going to happen. Well, because yeah, I mean, the, the whole... Because, and I love that he says, it's not about money because I got enough money. Trust me, I got enough money. I don't need, I don't need any more money. I just like to make money. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, like when the uh, McGregor thing fell through for two or whatever, yeah. remember he kept saying, oh, me and Pacquiao are going to do it again. Yeah. And he even had Pacquiao stand up at like a club, right? Yeah. And then nothing came of it. Yeah. So. Uh, would you still watch this if it happens? Uh, as far as I know, it's not even supposed to be televised or anything. Like he said, it's supposed to be a small thing amongst a, a rich group of people. But it's if almost I get like invited some... like Mortal Kombat style to this underground tournament, I, I will go. Oh, dude, if he signed to a Kumite and he didn't even know, yeah. oh, that'd death. be awesome. <laughs> he didn't even know. He's like, from what I understood, three three minute rounds. It's like, yeah, with chainsaws. What? 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 <laughs> hey, but over the pit. <laughs> hey, but no kicking. Yeah, but no kicks. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You get fugal sticks. <laughs> Cody McKenzie. Uh, has accepted his four-year <laughs> suspension from the Nevada State Athletic Commission for giving a fake urine sample in his last fight. Now, mind you, Cody, because he has been retired now for a little bit of time. Uh, Can you look up the formula for a fake urine sample, like, on the internet? Synthetic, like... I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I, it's not something I want to look up on my PC over here. <laughs> <Part> water. <laughs> Drop oh. a Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's definitely some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Maybe a little Red Bull. <laughs> Apparently you have diabetes. <laughs> you have straight sugar just coming out of your and urine. And you're pregnant. <laughs> and you're pregnant. <laughs> uh, he says that he did this because he was trying to hide the fact that he'd been smoking pot. So he used a urine substitute. Did he Did he not know that his, his goatee and mustache totally gives away that he <laughs> smokes pot? It's an old picture. <laughs> I just like that picture. <laughs> so what? <laughs> that tells everybody I smoke pot. <laughs> but, and I don't know how to comb my breath, my chest hair. <laughs> he was part of the the USADA thing where they didn't mention it, right? Right. He's and then he didn't come out and say anything until after the hearing. After the hearing, yeah. Because that's when they can announce it too, right? They, at any time the fighter could announce. At any time the fighter can, no, they but, will not announce it until after the sanction right, right, right. Uh, put down. Yeah. Supposedly, because they announced somebody right after they said that they weren't going to announce, right? Only after. They will they they can comment on it after the fighter has commented on it. Okay. So if the if the fighter so we're talking like uh Shane O'Malley, Shane O'Malley says I came out and he's like I got right. I got seen, I got saw by Sada. Uh this is what happened. I got de test positive for some sort of drug. We're looking into it right now. Then Usada came out and said, "Well, since he's announced it, we are announcing that he is going through sanctioning right now." All right. So that's the way that works. Uh a little further more into the ranking system that we have going on, a little bit further into why the system is fucking broken. Uh, over the weekend, we had a nice little story about TJ Dillashaw going to uh, MMA fighting. He, I think he was on Ariel's show or something like that and said that he is basically being sent to the 125-pound division to destroy, destroy it, it, to right. kill it. Right. Uh, according to Dana White, it's because that he has been pushing so hard for the opportunity to become a two-belt champion. They said, sure, Henry Cejudo are, already said, all right, that's fine. If he wants to come down to my weight, that way I don't have to put on weight. I'm fine with that. Whatever I have to do to make money. Yeah, whatever I'm going to have to do to make the money. Uh, and Dillashaw is saying that they're, they're going to pay me a fuckload of money to kill the 125 division once I get my second belt. Because I'll have two belts, then who will care because I'll be two-belt holder, and they might as well focus on my actual weight class is 135. And that's why there'll never be a union. This guy, this guy was like part of the <laughs> he was, yeah. AAA. He was part know. of the, the union like thing, and then he's a guy that's like, fuck that division. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Christmas is coming up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and but Monica. Let, let's Monica. go into what I was talking about. But he's the snake, remember? He is the yeah, snake. That, that's his brand, I guess. Uh, breaking into the rankings, uh, the UFC, obviously we know that they're cutting a lot of fighters uh, in the 125-pound division. They decided to add to the rankings Neil Siri, who's been retired since 2015, into the flyweight division in the top 15. Just to make 15? Just to make 15. Now, at first, I looked into this and I was like, what fucking dumbass? Because all 14 of you were fucking suck at doing rankings. So he was ready to go after somebody. Oh, I was going, yeah. And I was like, who the fuck put this guy 
in the rankings who has been retired since 2015. <laughs> oh, then come to find out all of them did. You know why? Because all of them added three fighters to the rankings. Why? Because the UFC at the end of the last event was like, shit, we got rid of a ton of fighters. We got to throw in all the other fighters back onto the ranking list. And it just grabbed three names. All three names were at the bottom of every ranking. So little detective work here from Detective Pikachu. We found out. <laughs> That it's because the UFC added them back. They got rid of so many people in the rankings, they automatically add guys in. Nobody moved them up in the in the rankings based on voting. Well, it sounded like they didn't They didn't even they add didn't them even themselves. Know. It was just a name added to the card yeah. for them to choose from. By the way, this has been fixed today. The UFC, I went to the UFC ranking site. They've got rid of Neil Seary. Like, fuck, he was retired? Shit, we can delete him from the So rankings. they only have 14? Or no, they stick somebody they, else? They stick somebody else. They actually got a whole new set. We're actually, after the event, guys voted on that. And we're like... I didn't vote for that guy. They we could we could have put Joey in. <laughs> Anybody will fight at 125. <laughs> He's losing a lot of weight. He's looking good, but, looking good, but yeah. I don't know about 125. <laughs> <laughs> He's only 170 right now. He's gonna be a nice one. Only head. half his body will fight. <laughs> you gotta use the uh, beam skill. <laughs> yeah. Put out the towel. You look like a three finger 125er. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, way to go UFC. Way to drop the break uh, the ball and keep breaking the rankings. Oh, this is where you this is where you're upset with the UFC. Said, way no, to keep doing it. No, no. <laughs> I mean like like this is the th <laughs> this is the thing. The rankings are broken. This, this upsets is the me. Thing. This upsets Setting me. Setting a whole stage where some guy throws a fucking dolly at a bus. That wasn't over they the didn't top. Set the stage. It was not a setup, sir. Don't wear your tinfoil hat. Danny gets very <laughs> upset if you say the UFC planned this. Yeah. It, it was, was bad right for there. business. He got punished already. They used it for a trailer! <laughs> that they did. <laughs> they had high-definition cameras filming it. Well, they were already there for the UFC event. How, when do they follow around? They do, all the embedded. time. Yeah. All Embedded all the time. All the time. You guys are killing my whole conspiracy <laughs> thing, Take man. Take the hat off. Man. I'm going to get you a tinfoil hat. I want to set it off to the side, and then the minute you go in, because you're just going to go, all right. Oh, <laughs> you know what I can do? I can make a graphic where a tinfoil hat just... <laughs> boop foils on me <laughs> that'd be amazing did you ever see our ufc floater do we have it again can you yeah. load it like instantly yeah 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 are you ready there it Boom! Is. got it Woo. high five ufc <laughs> come on hope it doesn't fall come on no, that, you, oh there it's gone damn it <laughs> anyway moving on from there world bare knuckle fighting federation which is a mouthful i think you guys should need to change that i'm not saying i know it's only your first event but anyway I, it's just, it's a lot. It's a big word. Uh, the WB. Yeah, just call it the Wubakuf. Wubakuf? That's Wubikuf. how boxing is. It's all alphabet. It's a whole alphabet. I <laughs> uh, had their card over on Friday. This was live on pay-per-view. They had a lot of hiccups, a lot of things leading up to the fight that were causing some issues. However, uh, newly appointed president, Boss Rutan, has uh, stated that everything will work itself out even after this event. They had to get through this event. Can you imagine but Boss coming in and handling that? Oh. You, stupid. Grab that right now. <laughs> get over there. Why Keep them to the balls. Work, you're like, oh, man, I got to talk to this guy. Yeah. And he's man, kicking oh. everybody in the shin. He's like, bam, get over there. Liver Fucking talk. liver kicking. <laughs> bang. <laughs> bang it a dang it a dang. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so newly appointed president, Boss Rutan has said is everything. He's going to take care of everything. We're going to get back on track. The next card will be just as uh, as good or if not more amazing, along with production values will be going up. Uh, anyway, on the main card, we had Chris Lieben defeated Phil Baroni. TKO round one, a minute 19. Phil Baroni. He didn't even get ready for Chris this fight. He's been working on his takedown defense. <laughs> he had to have because Phil Baroni decided that in World Bare Knuckle Boxing Fighting Federation that you're allowed to do takedowns and kept trying to shoot. And Chris just stepped back and be like, what the fuck's he doing? This is boxing. Oh, that's how he boxes? <laughs> uh, Dakota Cochran defeated Johnny Hendricks with a knockout in round two. Johnny Hendricks went to fucking sleep. Even in a sport where he can eat as much as he wants, he's still no good. I told you this wasn't his style. I told you it wasn't either. I didn't say he would be no, doing I'm good at this. No, <laughs> He needs to go back to owning a barbecue joint. <laughs> Something. Although I think those shut down too, sadly. Oh. Uh, Julian, How? Julian Lane. In this economy? <laughs> he ate himself out of business. He ate himself out of business. <laughs> Julian Lane defeated Joey uh, Angelo. Christina Marks defeated Jasmine Clarkson. Robbie Peralta defeated Jay Cusinello. Uh, Josh Neer defeated Mike uh, Aldaltri. Isaac Villafag defeated Corey Simpson. So we had some pretty. Uh, yeah. Wasn't Kim LeGrove supposed to be on here? Did he fight? I thought. No, I think. Is he on this one or is he on the other one? Oh, he's on, I get confused. I, I do. Yeah, it's hard. I get very it's confused. Hard to keep up. I do know that the 
Uh, Bare Knuckle Boxing Hall of Fame is not happy with WPKFF because they allow spinning back fists, which they say are not boxing. Where, what have they been doing? They just approved this Bare Knuckle Boxing. What has the Hall of Fame been doing? Just collecting a paycheck? They've been collecting things. Like, they have belts and, like, pictures. And I think it's <laughs> run out of this guy's basement and or garage. Okay. That's how a lot of this so stuff they starts. Bigger budget than this. Yeah. <laughs> than, this, than this show. Than yeah. yeah. Hey, baseball always wasn't in Canton, but yeah. it was in somebody's basement. It takes time. It takes yeah. time. Uh, but, yeah, I know we're going to be having another uh, – Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships coming up. And according to Boss Rutan, we'll have another Bare Knuckle Fighting Federation. Come How on. long can you make it in this thing? Have you seen the, these guys' face after? Yeah. Yeah, some of these guys look like lumped. Tony yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had that's the guy with he had 35 stitches or whatever. Yeah. That was a hell of a fight, but yeah. yeah. So anyway, will, will you continue to support and watch uh bare knuckle fighting? Uh I watch it. I don't know if I support, but I, def <laughs> I definitely watch it. Dennis? I like I said, I went back and I, I watched a lot of uh, manipulated video <laughs> highlights. <laughs> I did not watch it live. All right, uh, moving on from there, we also had UFC Fight Night. What was this? Oh, well, did you do you remember what it was? Fight Night One Thirty Nine, UFC Fight Night Denver, the twenty fifth yeah, anniversary show. UFC Denver. Uh, I did like the old school graphics. That did was you? awesome. Yeah. I was pretty happy about that. That I was got pretty all fucking excited. cool. My kids are like, what? And yeah. if you listen, they played a lot of old school. They did. The, yeah, the, the background music and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's the stuff that we have on UFC One out there on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah and I think good. they played one or two commercials from the time yeah, yeah. going out. They played like a. You could tell it wasn't the commercial, but it was a commercial that went on right, right after. Right. Yeah. yeah I, the intro too that they did was kind of like homage to UFC yeah. and how it started. I did. I did like it. It was pretty cool. So uh, you word, get nerd MMA. You like got that, big though. words like homage. You should be on the show all the time. <laughs> I mean, I would be out of a job, but it would be. Cool. <laughs> Uh, starting off on Fight Pass, Mark De La Rosa defeated uh, Joby Sanchez. Eric Shelton defeated Joseph Morales. That was all both on Fight Pass. Anything you got? You got something on that one? No, I actually I missed those. I was at oh. a football game. Uh, Devontae Smith defeated Julian Arosa on your first fight on the Fox Sports 1. Davi Ramos defeats John Gunther. Bobby Moffitt defeats Chaz Skelly. And Ashley Yoder defeats Amanda Cooper in there, a split what decision. What happened to... There was a lot of controversy on that Skelly one, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. The referee thought his eyes were fluttering or something. Yeah, he, he said it. he wasn't he wasn't out. And then he checked his own replay and he said, "Oh, I agree with myself." Yeah, I was. Yeah, I I think he was fluttering again till he's dead. <laughs> yeah, if he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Dennis <laughs> wants him to be dead. <laughs> and then the, the Amanda Cooper, I just expected so much more out of man. I thought she had this out the gate, but like you said, it was it was close. It was yeah, it was a close fight. Yeah, uh, Mike Trezano over Lewis Pena. Macy Barber over Hannah Cyphers. Wow. Yeah. She's a new star, I think. Oh, yeah. She Macy. Uh, yeah. Brutal, man. Oh. Yeah. And, like, just on point. And once she, once she found the mark, it was just tag, 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 So tag. who would you like to see her next, uh, oh. fight next? Obviously, she's not going to get a title shot immediately. She I mean, unless you're, you know, we could check out these uh, broken-ass rankings here and you can just <laughs> pick somebody from them. No, she wants uh, Mackenzie Dern next. I, yeah, but Sahara Ewanks wants you, Mackenzie Dern, at a um, Dern weight. Which uh, Mackenzie which... Dern? The Brazilian or the Malibu girl? <laughs> like I said, which Sahara Ewanks already wants her at Dern weight, which means any weight possible. <laughs> uh, apparently, she... Is she making that joke? The one that missed weight? <laughs> Are they right? The one oh, missed it? I didn't yeah. even think about that. Oh, man. Um, the quarter pounder. <laughs> so who would you like to see? It wasn't fight? three pounds let's, like let's, Avila. Let's talk top 10 here. Would you like uh, Courtney Casey, Felice Herrick, Carla Esparza, Michelle Waterson, Tisa Torres? Uh, Esparza, right? Be a good, good yeah, start. She, she beat uh, Cynthia Calvillo uh -huh. last year. Yeah, Esparza. So you think that would be a good start for... Uh, yeah, because she's a, like, a big-time wrestler. So For Macy Barber? Yeah. That All would right. really put her to the test after, if she was able to get past that, I think. All right. Uh, Benel Del Rouge takes and defeated uh, Tiago Mo Moises. Jermaine Derendame, the Iron Lady, defeats Raquel Pennington in a unanimous decision at a catch weight 138. Yeah, it was not even close. Yeah. No? No. She's, it was sad. Jermaine's good. I hate to say it. She's yeah. very good. Yeah, uh, Donald Cerrone defeats Mike Perry, submission <laughs> armbar in round one, 446. Possible dislocation, not a break, we're hearing. Well, allegedly, he originally wrote that it was a break. Uh, this is coming from Mike Perry. You broke my damn arm. Uh, he is now saying no, but it could be a dislocation. It could be some torts, some muscles, some tendons, some things, but not an actual break in the bone. 
Uh, also, this puts uh, Donald Cerrone as the highest, the most wins in the UFC history at 21. And finishes too, right? And yeah, finishes, finishes, yeah. Because he fights every week. But <laughs> if a guy tries to take you down and you stuff it, why would you take him down right away? <laughs> like, that's what happened. Uh, Mike Perry put this up on his, his he Instagram. He lulled him into it. He let him believe he could he could do something to him on the ground. Puts this up on his own Instagram when you wished you had trained jiu-jitsu before the fight. <laughs> yeah, we put it out. Yeah, we did. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Donald Cerrone is calling out not only at, at, the, at the show. He called out Khabib. He said he's coming from the belt. He says that he has already signed a contract to fight Conor McGregor, and he's waiting for Conor McGregor's response. See, I like this one because remember when he told the story about him talking shit, and then when he went to respond, they went and locked him. Uh -huh. they, they locked McGregor in his, yeah. his room, and he was like, no, I just want to talk to him. They're like, you ain't getting nowhere near him. Yeah. So he could actually have pent-up anger all the way from that. I did see uh, somebody put up the highlights of the press conference where yeah. he was just talking back and like, forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you like to see this fight? No. No? No, I don't like this fight at all. For it either? Yeah, it doesn't make sense for anyone. I mean, if Donald beats Connor, then by Connor, that's he's over. But if Don, I mean, and I don't think Donald's going to get that rub. Like he's going to be a big star if he beats Connor. So I mean, it's kind of risky for no. The reason. problem is nobody for a little while is going to get the Connor effect. Right. So I mean, he has it, to fight top level competition. We don't need loses we, to him. We need Connor. And all the the people that are on his bandwagon to get the fuck out of our sport. <laughs> I, I think that's what's driving it right now. I don't care what's driving. I don't. I'm not. It, I don't care how big the sport is at a point where it's grown, <laughs> and we could lose some people. That's what I'm saying. Side story: uh, Proper Twelve is sold out across the United States and Ireland. Did you look up why? Oh, I could tell you why because I am actually in the alcoholic beverage industry <laughs> and talk to many a reps and flat out. They're saying they're sold out across the United States. Connor, you know, they took this picture of him coming on, bringing more. Come to find out from what I've been told from many reps is that they are actually holding stock back to increase the market demand. Right. That they are waiting. My opinion, it's hard to sell mediocre whiskey when your spokesman just lost his last fight. Right. And he doesn't have another one announced yet. Right. So I think magically... We'll get some announced uh, when he has either a fight announcement or maybe around just Christmas because he's trying to be that whole thing. Or if he beats Donald Cerrone. All of a sudden, we're <laughs> going to get a whole bunch more whiskey available on the market. Well, technically, he's under suspension, so he can't sign anything. He has oh, that's right. That. I think he he, has, well, he can... December 10th is his hearing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. December 10th. But so. I, I heard, you know, UFC's got Johnny Walker now. Oh! Yeah, he's going to be fighting tomorrow. <laughs> UFC, Argentina. <laughs> And then your main event at Featherweight, Yair Rodriguez defeats Chang Young Zung, the Korean zombie, with an elbow with one second so, left of the fight. Do you know that meme where it's like Drake, where it's like this and not that? Yeah. 12 6 elbows, 6 12. 6 12. All good. <laughs> You're all good. Uh, they're saying this is the knockout of the century. They're saying that, I mean, first of all, Korean zombie looked dead after he got hit with this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second of all, he was winning. He yeah. had the scorecards. We posted those scorecards. I think I put them up on, I sent them to you guys. Whatever, not my scorecards. <laughs> he was winning. <laughs> not my scorecards. Yeah. I, I like immediately, you were like, he was winning on the cards. <laughs> he was winning on the cards three to two, uh, three rounds to two rounds. And you're here with one second left. Uh, Korean Zombie went in to duck a punch, and as he went in, to, as he ducked, Yair came up with the elbow right. and struck him, and he just, he went out. What now, was they're the... saying it's not luck that he trains this sort of thing. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, I think you are training for these type of things. I mean, you, you try to aim this thing, but to land it exactly where it lands every single time, I got to believe is What is was the whole do. let's pause and act like we're on a roller coaster yeah, oh, thing? I was screaming. We were freaking no, out. I, I, Did the, they think the round was over? No, I think they were just like, they knew they had 10 seconds left. It's like, it was on the, yeah. it was on the, hey, it was on the click, right? Yeah, it was on the click it was when on they the, did it. I think both of them knew we just put on a fucking show because they did. Hands down, one of the best fights. And 10 seconds left, they were both going to walk out of there. Yeah, that they were just going to like <laughs> high five. Yeah, man, we made it all fucking five rounds we fucking killed this thing all right let's throw a couple more punches boom boom korean zombie looks dead <laughs> <laughs> he apologized to all his fans the ufc and everything else that he is deeply embarrassed which i say yeah. you have nothing, nothing to, to be, be embarrassed, embarrassed about no nope. you got caught with this lucky shit and if anybody wants to say it's not lucky including here i i understand like you you train for this kind of thing but who would have thought with one second left you're gonna land this to win the fight right. well his coach says they've They've practiced it quite a bit. 
with one second left? No. You got the. All right. You do the ten, one second. Nine, <laughs> eight. Come rush, come rush. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Did it work? No. All right. Let's do it again. It's like the, the two ten, nine. You know what I mean? you know? like, I'm talking about the elbow <laughs> from the backside, not at the one second mark. <laughs> yes, that's why I said it is probably in his two minute drill. They do train this the, this elbow. I get that, but to throw it with the one second left, with again being behind on the cards, that to me is where I'm just telling you what Seagal told me. Yeah, Seagal, Seagal was told like, "Hey, throw that elbow. I taught you." <laughs> <laughs> Hand me my hair dye. Where do you see Yair Rodriguez from here? People are saying, "Give him a fucking shot, title shot immediately." Yeah. It's crazy. He hit the elbow, title <laughs> shot. <laughs> no, I mean the Frankie Edgar fight showed that he wasn't ready. So yeah. Don't throw him up there yet. I mean, he just was cut. He wasn't even in the UFC. <laughs> right. Then they right. brought him back. I, they brought I, him back. I heard so much of that so, the next day. I mean, I, I give him. A, you think that's why Korean Zombie was so embarrassed? No. I think it's because he knew he lost. won the fight yeah. and he got hit with one second left. Like, <laughs> if it would have hit him and he didn't get knocked out and he just like stumbled and like got up and be like, all right, all right fucker. Yeah. Like, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I still won the fight, but that damn, was a good one. That, that was, was a good, good one. one. You know what I mean? But to, like me and a couple of the bartenders and people that were watching this uh, as staff at the, at the place I work at, which, uh, this is almost very much like, uh, you know, the Anthony Pettis and Benson Henderson fight where you see some shit at the end where you're like, that's all you're going to talk about. Nobody talked about the rest of the fight where it's like Korean Zombie was dominating. I mean, right, right. He was very, it was a very good fight. Going back and forth, a war, a war. But this happens, did, and it's like, that's it. Did you, did you see the elbow? Right. Did you see hey. the... Where were you when the elbow hit? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like that. Yeah, you're like a freaking UFC character, like a, a creative character move set. <laughs> that's what right. he does is throw that spinny shit and yeah. right. wild stuff. Like, and you could tell nuts. there was a couple times that the zombie was surprised that he was still standing. I mean, yeah. he got him good and a couple even times. Even though he was just... You know, Korean zombie was just starting to throw some one-twos down at the end. They were landing every single time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Even though it's like, well, this fucking combo works. I'm just going to spam this yeah, one. It'd be like <laughs> five strikes from the zombie and then one spinning one from Yair. Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said, it was a great fight. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Super excited. I hope I hope uh, Korean Zombie comes back and, and does big things still. Uh, I hope they don't, you know, he's, knock yeah, him down. He, well, he's had a lot of layoffs. The injury. Two-year layoff. In the military. Through the military. Yeah, right. That's, that's tough to do. But see now, okay, so you're you're you you're on that voting committee, and I mean, so do you knock him down for the loss? Well, yeah, you knock him down for the loss, but I mean, I'm not gonna lock him down like four fucking ranks. Right. Maybe two. Maybe one. Oh. You know, you got to move Yair up a couple. You move him down one. Like, let's see what happens there. But I'm not gonna be like up. Oh, yeah, year was at number 15. Korean Zombies at five. Let's just swap them. That's a little much. They automatically move up one if they make weight. <laughs> if you make weight, then That's you, in his you book move right up. there. Yeah. You got to move you up a little bit. At least a half a rank. <laughs> got the half marks. <laughs> the, the hash. Uh, moving on from there, we have uh, Invicta going down. All right, I have the Invicta yeah. poster up. Yep, Invicta 32. Tonight. Invicta 32 tonight. You can watch this on Fight Pass. Uh, this is for the... Is this the 145 title, right? No, straw it. I think, or, 145 oh, title? Yeah, yeah. And yep, straw right. it? And just yeah. straw it about. Yeah, so 145. Uh, so uh, Felicia Spencer will be going up against Pam Sorsen for the... Uh, is this the vacant belt, I would assume? I don't know. Oh, yeah, because uh, what's her name's gone? Yeah. Magana? What? No. no. Magana Everything. was not ever a belt holder? No, 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 no. What? Uh Who? I don't know. If Sorensen wins, though. <laughs> if Sorensen wins tonight, to she'll think. be gone. She'll, Anderson, she'll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Aussie. Yeah. yeah. Right. Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson. That was, that was right? Megan Anderson. All right. All right. Moving on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out on uh, Fight Pass. Lisa Spencer going up against Pam Sorsen. Uh, Maziki Anu going against Vivian Piera. Ashley Cummins going against Jessica Delboni. Caitlin Young. Sarah Patterson. Uh, yeah. The rest of the card again. Whole thing is on Fight Pass. So if you are a subscriber, you can get that for free. You think it's going to be on ESPN Plus? <laughs> no, okay. I don't think so. Uh, moving on from there, we do have Bellator going on like now, tonight. Uh, they say it's going to be, uh, it's supposed to be on Paramount Network. Yeah. On tape delay? Uh, yeah. Probably. Probably they tape, do delay. A lot. They do a lot tape delay. delay. Tape delay. This is going down in Israel. Uh, your main card, Patricio uh, Pitbull Freire going up against Emmanuel Sanchez. Halim Gozal going up against Ryan Couture. Phil Davis going up against Vadimir Nekmov. Wait, so Nemkov? If, Nemkov. If Phil Davis loses, he's done. Yeah? These, yeah. yeah these are all like Israeli guys. Cindy Dandewa is going against Olga Rubin and Amanda or Adam 
Koresh going up against Kareli Sidenikov. Is that David Koresh? Ryan Couture already <laughs> fought him before. He, he beat him, and then that guy went on and won, and then I think lost. So. Ah, there we go. It's kind of strange that they're doing a rematch. Uh, UFC Fight Night 140 going down in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, starting off on Fight Pass, Nad Naramamini going up against Anderson Dos Santos, Devin Powell against Jesus Pendejo. Or Pinedo. Pinedo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tornado of peas, a Pinedo. Uh, moving on to Fox, Fox Sports 1, your prelim card. You got uh, Lorano Starpoli going up against Hector Ald Aldana. Starpoli. Uh, Humberto Banderne <laughs> going up against Austin Arnett. Aust Alexander. Austin has lost his last three. They yeah. contend the series and then two in the UFC. He's kind of shocked he's even getting this opportunity. <laughs> but he said he's fighting with nothing to lose. So. Uh, free trip to Buenos Aires, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Alexander Pentoja going against Oka Sakai, or uh, Sasaki, excuse me. P Michelle Prezeris going up against Bartosz Fabinski. Uh, that is on your prelims on Fox Sports 1. Moving on to the main card, Cynthia Cavrajo going up against uh, Paulina Motelho. Cynthia Cavrajo yeah. missed weight by three pounds. She this she is, looked horrible. This is now a catch weight at 118. So if this yeah. was in New she York. She did this off the scale. She'd get up there. She'd get up there. All yeah, right, what's the one foot thing? Oh, oh, oh. I'm, go I'm good. I'm still fighting tomorrow, right? You guys? You <laughs> <laughs> you, she was almost fighter of the year last year. She had four wins. She had that fifth fight with uh, Asparza. She lost it, so she didn't get it. But she was in consideration. Right. And the suspension now we, missed weight. We don't know where it she's bad. at. We don't know where she's at, man. I mean, do you feel when you dial see, it in when you see things like this? When you see them falling off the scales, do they immediately go to medical check? Do they immediately say, "Hey, we need to look at something here"? Or do they just go, "Yeah, see you tomorrow"? I think because it's in Israel, they this don't. Is not they Israel. don't. This is in Argentina. Oh, oh either, either way, <laughs> they're close. They're right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but still, because Neighbors. it's not happening in the U.S. I don't think you're going to have a commission outside of the U.S. step in and say anything about what's going on with fighters. Right. Do you feel that the UFC should step in and say, hey, you're falling off the scales here. It's not looking good. Everyone's watching live. It's, it's kind of hard when you're making money off of it. I don't, I don't know because because <laughs> the problem is like when New York steps in about certain things. and she, Her I, boobs are fake. Don't yeah. let her fight. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so there is some stuff that they do that's kind of off the wall. But when they when they're like, no, this is the rule. You guys knew the rule. You didn't do the rule. That's why that fight can't happen. And then people get pissed off, uh -huh. you know. But in, but it's the same people that get pissed off that come to me and talk about fighter safety. Oh, you really want to watch them die? You really want them to die? So are, are we for fighter safety or are we not for fighter safety? For fighter safety. Okay. I, I just like it when people make weight. <laughs> you can show up at that right, weight. Right. Nice. I get it. You got you got two jobs. Make weight, fight. Yeah. <laughs> and, and fighting's optional. Fighting's optional. Guido Cantanelli or Cantelli. Canetti? Guido Canetti. <laughs> Guido Canetti you going up against. Say Guido, that's racist. Guido Canetti. Canetti going up against Marlon Vera. I like, Guido. I like that fight. I'm right. Uh, Cesar Ferreira going up against Ian Hernsch. Heinish. Yeah, Heinish uh, is pretty good. Khalil Roundtree going up against Johnny Walker. Told you. What? Yeah. Is that Johnny Walker Red? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Roundtree knocked out Saki last time. So. Woo! <laughs> we'll see. He likes it on the rocks. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo Lamas going up against Darren Elkins. Damage. How long have you been holding the that damage. One? The damage. I really like Darren Elkins. You talk about a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't he lose the fight directly he loses after every getting fight and then, <laughs> after getting <laughs> then he wins? <laughs> yeah. And Neil yeah. Magny going up against Santiago Panzabibio. Panzabibio all day. How many eye pokes? Three. How many eyes oh, wow. in his name? <laughs> three. That's why I said three. <laughs> three. <laughs> He's got to dot him three times. Dot them eyes. <laughs> tres mas, man. Tres mas. And that's it. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? we got 209 beat down going down. At the Modesto Center Plaza tonight as well. Tell them, Nick, no, and I'll just no, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, the tomorrow. 17th. Uh, doors open at 4 at Century Plaza, downtown Modesto. There's 15 fights going down, four title fights. Um, I interviewed some of the heavyweight guys, Mark Thompson and uh, Omar. Those guys are 2-0. and so someone has to lose. They uh, oh the O will go. Yeah, somebody must go. So you're gonna see something happen. And then uh, Mike Tabera, he was supposed to fight with Bellator. He had a fight signed. It didn't go. They, I think the guy got hurt, pulled out. So since they're gonna be in Modesto, that's where he's from. He's gonna go ahead and take the fight. Nice. Uh, one more amateur fight. So I'm pretty excited about that. Should be good. They we will be bring. there. We will. You will be there. Yes. I gotta yeah. work. Yeah. Drinks on. <laughs> I saw the cool stuff, man. Right. Yeah, body shots on me. Come over. 
Get a belly button. Right full. out of that belly button. <laughs> also, make sure you head over to uh, Bring shirt. a straw. I'm just <laughs> telling you. <laughs> it's a deep it's belly button. A <laughs> it's a full shot. <laughs> a, what is it called? A jigger? <laughs> jigger. A jig. <clears throat> really? <laughs> <laughs> Shirtsicle.com slash SDMMA. See, I say jigger with a with the Jega. The YouTube <laughs> subtitles are going to be all messed up on this one. Pick yourself up. I'm not going to turn them a on. Fight Nighty Chill shirt, Pride Style shirt, or a original uh, SD shirt over at shirtsicle.com. Also, if you are looking to save up to 70% on your credit card taking business, head over to Dependable Solutions and see what they can do for you. DependableSolutions.com. Thanks a lot, Derek. I'm glad you like us. Or something. Sometimes. Or Some- at least tell him that you like us right. uh, and also check out strongboard strongboardbalance.com get on board get on strongboard still standing on strongboard still doing well i gotta bring that little ball because you keep telling me it's not hard enough <laughs> what are we talking about again strongboard okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's it that's your whole week of uh fights and mma information yep. thank you nick yeah no problem um if you're not subscribed to me i don't know what you're doing but you should subscribe to split decision if you just happen to catch this um, 209 Beatdown 6 will be all over those channels. If you can't make it, you'll definitely be able to see the fights. Right on. Constantly trying to catch this. He always, oh, the, the floating I'm subscribe. To, to, uh. It's over here. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. So from oh. SynCal Studios. From SynCal Studios, as always, it's uh, Split Decision. Have a good night. We'll see you at the fights. All right. Boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop. Try to catch the floaty things. <laughs>